What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is I, Randy, with RTSBullet.com, bringing you a quick Friday video. First of all, happy Friday. This is a brand new shirt. Just came in the other day. Put in the laundry. Ah, good to go. You like that? Happy Friday, baby. Happy Friday. Uh, so today we're going to go watch uh, some uh, live or some previously live footage. <laughs> it's been recorded. We're going to watch some recorded footage uh, from my buddy Paranoia with AOA over on Gelt 4, I do believe. So just enjoy this, and I'll have some voiceover going with some music. Um, I won't let you look at my ugly face the whole time, but love you guys a long time. Stay tuned because we're going to make this a regular thing where I take in guest videos and do guest uh, guest kind of posts on the RTS Mobile website and on the RTS Mobile YouTube channel. So stay tuned for more guest things. We actually have plenty of guest authors for guides in RTS Mobile. So if you are interested and you have some cool battle footage or are interested in making a guide, please jump in. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Alrighty, now let's take a look at the warband march that Paranoia is putting together. It looks like it's predominantly cavalry. I see a lot of gore beasts. I see a lot of chaos knights kind of maxing those out. And he's setting some monsters uh, and some tier three, uh, tier three horses between the Slenish and the uh, Blood Crushers of Corn. He's sending some of those to tank, which is nice. So he should have a good, nice, and meaty front line for this warband. Uh, okay. And we're just going to go ahead and speed up a tiny bit here. So don't mind the slightly expedited video clips. But uh, let's take a look at what he's got in here already. So already you can see we're not totally full yet. Um, but a lot of troops are getting in. The last couple of marches are showing up. And uh, looking forward to seeing this warband hit. So I don't know about any of you, but seeing this many keep level 30s in a group is definitely scary. Oh, here he goes! Paranoia setting his reinforcements. Emptying his keep in case he gets attacked. That's always a wise tactical move unless you're trying to bait. Um, so take notes, ladies and gentlemen. If you are going to do a big warband, be prepared to immediately dump your troops either as you're warbanding or take a minute and do them beforehand. This is a good opportunity for Paranoia right now to, to offload these troops, mitigate his risk, um, of being counterattacked while his best troops are outside of his base. And again, we're just keeping this uh, slightly sped up to get to the action here. Should be coming in the next minute or so. Get excited. Everybody get warmed up. Uh, special shout out to uh, Al Pacino, Godfather, Qatar, and of course Paranoia for sending me this footage. Um, you gentlemen are wonderful. Okay, so let's take a quick look here. I think he's about to pull up the troops that are currently inside the warband. We can take a good look at that. Um, should be a hopefully predominantly cavalry and chariot march. Here we go. We've got a good mix in paranoia for soaking, and there you get the the, the T5 to Zinj, uh chariots. Here you go, some more cavalry and chariot types. Looks like everybody's sticking predominantly to chariot and cavalry for the damage, and then monsters for soaking. That seems to be the theme, which is a good theme. I will say I do not necessarily agree with the Warlord that they are using for this particular build, uh, for the range damage build. It's tough. It's tough to choose a Warlord for a mixed combination like that, like this that has you know undivided corn, slanish, uh, and tzinch. I mean, it's got it's got everything except for Nurgle. You know, how do you buff everything except for Nurgle? So this guy does, yeah, I don't know. Skull Hunter does give that Warband bonus, so maybe with that Warband bonus, it is more effective than using an uh, individual Warlord for a specific faction. Um, that's up for debate. We'll have to theorycraft that later in the RTS Mobile Discord. And we're just going to go ahead and keep keep moving down the video here. Uh, all those keep 30s in one place. Look at that. One, two, three, four. Oh, there goes the video. There's got to be at least six or seven keep 30s rallying right now. This is a good warband. Should be a good size. Lots of troop power. Lots of damage coming out. I know the guy they're attacking is huge. I mean, he's. I want to say he was like a 300 something million power. There we go. Let's take a look what this guy's doing. Oh! Looks like the warband hit. 
Looks like the warband hit. We must have hit. I didn't even notice. Look at that. Boom, baby. There goes Warpad. There goes Warpad. Happy Friday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's an evil guy. He poured it into counterattack. Look at that. See? There's a counter. Um, it's a little guy, too. I'm, I'm surprised. Anybody can just wipe him out. He just ported, so you know he's got no reinforcements. You know he doesn't have upper-level T4 uh, troops. The best he can have is knights. Um, so he's not going to have the damage that's coming with Chaos Chosen or um, the Chimeras. He can easily get zeroed there. Um, I see more evils porting in, or the same guy porting around in circles here. He's trying to hit people. This is actually a good move. I do like, I do approve that move um, for a good counterattack. But okay, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the report now. Here comes Paranoia with the report. Look at that. 1.9 million troops dead from the attacker. It's a close victory, man. That was a close victory. Okay, and we're just going to kind of scroll our way down. You can see, again, predominantly ranged cavalry, chariot type damage, and then, of course, the melee monsters for tanking. Oh, Paranoia, you lost a couple troops, man. You lost like 300,000 soakers. Oh, that's okay, though. That was a great job. That was a nice attack to watch. I enjoyed that. A lot of death and destruction. Thanks again to Paranoia for donating this video for our Friday uh, fun day, Friday fun day video. Thanks a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for more videos this weekend. Randy out.